What's going on everybody? This is Warpath 2 or Adam and today I have some crazy exciting news. I just got off a Skype call with a source at Microsoft and I got a bunch of new details about the new Xbox. So I'm going to tell you guys all about it. Um, I'm going to give you my source's name kind of. I had to change his name just to protect his identity but I think you guys are really going to enjoy this video and stay tuned because I've got so much information about almost everything in the system. Alright, so first of all, the gentleman I spoke with, his name is Gil Bates, um, and he told me the first big piece of information. Everybody's kind of been debating on the name, is it just going to be Xbox, it's going to be Xbox 720, Xbox Infinity, they're all wrong. It's actually going to be called the XXbox YOLO XX. I mean, that's, that's brilliant. They're tapping into a hot term right now with YOLO, and the market that they're going for it's perfect. This is going to be the best name system ever, guys. Um, so the next thing he told me about was the always-on requirement. Guys, I, I hate to break it to you. According to my source, in Microsoft, there is going to be an always-on requirement. But it's way different than anybody ever thought it was going to be. This actually doesn't require you to always have an internet connection, but you literally can't turn the Xbox off. Like you can't do it once you pl unplug it there's like an internal battery too like you you literally can't turn it off it has to stay on constantly or else they're going to take the system away it's part of the terms and conditions it's so insane but they're going for that first screen experience they don't want to be the second screen they want to be the first so i completely get it now since we're talking about the hardware i wanted to bring up the controller really quickly they saw the sony controller and they realized that there was an untapped market for what sony did versus what they could do going forward so my source tells me that the whole controller is going to be multi-touch it's going to be a giant touchpad controller now the buttons are still going to be physical buttons because it's hard to hard to manifest that but literally you can turn your xbox on the side and play angry birds at any time it's it, it's legitimately the most incredible thing I've ever seen. I couldn't actually, I can't share the pictures with you because that could get my source in trouble. But I'm going to show you guys like the different areas that are going to be touch sensitive on the Xbox right here. I'm just going to show you a picture. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like everything that's not a button is touch sensitive. You're going to see like here at the uh, at the top by the Xbox button and like at the bottom where you hold the controller are going to be touch sensitive. Let's, we're going to look at the back. Same situation here. This is also touch sensitive all over the back. And what's crazy, look at this. The battery pack is touch sensitive. Now, this is a current control. I can't show you the new stuff, but that's pretty crazy. That's pretty high tech, next gen stuff, guys. And quite frankly, I think that's a brilliant move to counter what Sony did. And I just, I can't see this being bad. All right, guys. So next, we're going to talk about games. Forget what you know about DVDs and Blu-rays. That's not going to be the direction the new Xbox YOLO goes in, as I'm going to start calling it from now on. Um, you're going to see that they're actually going to use orbs. Now, everybody knows from all the future movies and sci-fi, orbs are the future. Discs are flat. Orbs are spherical. Definitely, that's a better concept. And they've been using black ray technology, which is insane. We're talking about, that's like... That's like 80K resolution. That's like a billion times better than 4K and like a trillion times better than Blu-ray. So forget all that, guys. This console is going to be future-proof. Along with that, every game on the console is going to be free-to-play, which is nuts. I love free-to-play games. I even like buying like a little microtransaction things because they're so awesome. Like I... It just makes the game better when you only have to pay like 10 bucks to be good at it versus 60, which is nuts. Like, who wants all that stuff unlocked anyways? But, um, so every game's going to be free to play, but they're also going to require a licensing fee to play it, which I get that. They got to make their money somehow. Rumors are, though, um, that you're going to have to pay this just to even play the game. You get like 10 minutes free of the game, and then if you buy a microtransaction, it gives you 10 other minutes. But if you don't do that, you've got to buy the license, and boom, you get the full game. So it's whatever you like, guys. You get to choose. That's kind of cool. Now, with this, as you're going to be buying microtransactions a lot more, it sounds like, instead of relying on Microsoft points, because nobody likes to do the conversion and buying points and all this stupid stuff, they're actually going to put a credit card reader right onto the machine. So you just swipe your card, boom, microtransaction complete. And you don't even have to worry about it. You don't even have to use your card. Just grab like your parents' card or something like that. And you can get whatever you want for whatever game you're going to play. And it's, I mean, there's almost no loss there. There's no downside to that because it's right there. You don't have to put any stupid codes or anything like that. I think this is a great idea. And finally, guys, the last crazy bit of information that I got was about Xbox Live parties. 
Uh, this is going to fundamentally change the way we play games, the way we party up, the way we hang out with our friends on Xbox. It's going to be insane. Guys, we're talking telepathic Xbox parties. It's super simple. What they give you is an easy implant system that you can do yourself. You don't even need like a guide or a walkthrough. There's like something in the instruction booklet. And instantly, at any time, you can share pictures, videos, music, thoughts, um, pretty much anything that you can see or grasp as a concept, you can share to other people, and boom, it's perfect. You don't even have to do anything. It's awesome, guys. I This is going to... This console is going to be amazing. The Xbox Yolo is going to be the best console that's ever been created, and I honestly can't wait to just play it. I, I love the orb idea. I love the free-to-play idea. I love the name. The name is so catchy. X Xbox Yolo XX. That's such a perfect name. Like I, I just can't get over how great and not annoying that name is. I'm gonna love saying that. That's it, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up from here. Thanks again to my special, uh, my special source, Will Bates, and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and. Also share this with your family and friends and tell your mom about the video, write her a letter, and maybe even like write some prisoners or something. That'd be super cool, guys. Thanks again, guys. I'm Warpath2 Adam. You guys take it easy.